Okay, this is actually one of the exits, so that's why there's the sign for uh, saying goodbye for asking you come back again. Hopefully, in the future, with more riders and if you have time. So let's move on. Let's see. Uh, 27km. Wow. I have to pull down my visor because the air is so cold now still okay better than all the hot sun as compared to the day before at Penang so uh, 27km this one uh, more turns and stuff and then there will be this uh, rocky road up to the strawberry fields where we'll get another nice uh, photo taking spot then maybe I can share with you a bit of uh, a little incident that happened the previous time when uh, I went up to Cameron Highlands uh, that uh, same road that we are going now so far like the initial plan was to go all the way up to the highest point uh, they call it what the the mossy forest but quite disappointing uh, because all around you will see all the um, what you call it all the trees will be blocking the view of the highest point and then got no nice pictures where we can take with uh, Rec Zero and Raijin so I guess we will skip that and uh, just uh, get some nice spots see uh, we can find any nice spots at uh, this uh, strawberry fields area then um, we'll head down towards uh, Fraser Hill where we will have some lunch and more uh, photo taking and see what we can do there uh, what else we can do over there Starting to reach all the uh, like farm areas, it seems. Let's see what we can see. Yes, we care. Uh, ah, you can see starting to have all the strawberry places. And let me just adjust my bag so I can check out my map. Okay, still actually a long way. Lah. So let's go and enjoy the ride again. And then I the, uh, just need to be careful for the turn for the path to go up the strawberry field. Hopefully the, the road is uh, a bit clear but there's like only a one lane road for uh, vehicles to go up and down. Some uh, nice views over here. Okay, the tree is blocking now. Getting some uh, wind in the face. Enjoy the cold air while it lasts. I can see the strawberry fields. That's where we are heading to. And of course, the, the town area. Wow! Town area for Cameron. Like these guys, they come with a freaking gold wing. They enjoy the ride. But all the sharp corners. Also, that yeah, one you got skills, then no problem. See so you can cut this guy once we don't have all this uh, bad condition tarmac. Okay, seems to be a straight here. After this turn, we're going to cut this guy. Here the engine. The 
the wrecks. Yeah, I think down here all because uh, lots of uh, vehicles go up and down so the road also start to wear off. Well, that one actually could have stopped there also looks like quite nice but it's okay up top at the strawberry fields also lots of nice views okay, you can take a look of uh, Malaysia seems that we are going to all the nice uh, high points of uh, each areas So far from the uh, bottom of the Cameron Highlands right Oh, we got to take a right here See the sign Cameron Highlands in case you are heading here Because I almost went straight I mentioned uh, from the bottom to where we are now It's like about only 54.5 kilometers Still a long way. See all the signages to where this path goes to. You can start to see some buildings now at the town area. Seems. this shot of some of the farmlands I guess or strawberry fields not to show it if these are the, this uh, I don't think this is the strawberry fields uh, some other farms as well I'm not too sure the one we are going is the strawberry fields so I'm not too sure what produce uh, they are farming over here There's actually some nice spots to stay over here here in Cameron but I think I have uh, mentioned to uh, Scorpio activity wise it's more of a uh, sightseeing and uh, going to farms so I guess we'll skip this the Cameron side head on to other places where you can see and save time and do more activities on other places see now you can start to have all the shops if you want to come here to uh, get something to eat okay it's getting a bit dusty let me put down the visor get something to eat and chill out if you feel that your journey is quite far oops gotta slow down this uh, amber flashing, I guess, to show what kind of uh, direction that is trying to tell you. You can see more farmlands here. see some of the plantations right up there I don't know how they are gonna uh, harvest all that with the steep steep hills man okay now this is why I was worried of heading to the town area slow traffic with uh, like I said uh, quite a distance more to go even though the distance seems to be near 
can see from the map is a big zigzaggy road see we can at least uh, get a straight road start to pick up pace since there's less vehicles now and hopefully uh, no more uh, heavy oh yes as I said and a whole bunch of trucks so it's back to chilling right again there's this guy just so sitting there some construction works okay at least we didn't get a side of the road where I had to be stopped I think it saves us some time you can see the long stretch of vehicles that got held up just for being stopped supposed to like uh, go past this and cut through all the way up there as we travel up Cameron Highlands this wheel some uh, touristy area around here Cameron Square is called hotels and some uh, restaurants and stuff this is uh, Taman Rama Rama Butterfly Park Shit, you were supposed to turn left there. Hey, turn left, yep. No, wait, wait, hold. Rerouting. Okay. Ah, that's why I say it's not, so I never see. You adjust, lah, in your. Okay, seems the. Uh, my phone was losing battery and I seem to have missed the turn so battery down and rerouting luckily it was not that far la. now we have to uh, backtrack a bit I see if I can show you that turn because even the previous time I came here was like a, a very sudden left turn where we had no idea how to go we can try to there this one is the sign yes look out for the sign Utan Simpan Mosi wow now the road is like so much better hopefully because the previous time where we were here this one was like uh, really said uh, you it's all sand and dirt 
and of course just as I mentioned Roadwise, not very good, so just go slow a bit. Watch out for oncoming traffic. You can just follow this car. There were like big, uh, big potholes all along the way, also. As I mentioned before, this is a, a one lane road but it's shared by the vehicles going up and down as well. Okay, that's like a little bit of spot for just nice for two, two vehicles side by side. my visor getting some dust from the vehicles from Raijin and the car we're coming to through some fields all the way and some nice views now finally the fields and bumps shit almost never see that So this time we are like, uh, okay, as mentioned, it will surely be an issue like this, where uh, vehicles will get stuck, I guess. trying to maneuver through yes trying to signal to Scorpio if you can hear me so as I mentioned uh, some sections will be uh, difficult for the two sides of vehicles to go and we're off again Roads. I believe this is the uh, good spot to stop. some of the oops almost went to that little weird hole here now we are inside some forest
Okay, says no trespassing. So most likely you have to go to the right side, right hand side. Because I don't have the map as usual. And then uh, we will stop at the. Yeah, it was there. It's not that one. It was just not that one. Yeah, where all the car. You want to stop there, lah? Yeah, I need a wider area. I had a feeling that was the best landscape spot because that one was where all the people were hanging out. Trying to get like the most widest part. Because my bike, I like said, must do like three point turn lorry one. Then somehow I got the reverse one move also. We were riding all the bigger bikes, touring bikes be harder to navigate <laughs> see like Raijin sure very easy my one not even 3 point turn mine is like 5 point already so later I will see if I can oh. so Lubang Ya It's got to be careful All the turns Slowly roll down Sun if uh, going back down Will be Much more enjoyable So anyway, the ones where we just went past, where I had all the cars, is the best landscape spot, which seems to be where everybody's hanging out. <laughs> you'll go down to the the part where had a little hole. Okay, somewhere here seems to be good. Just need to be careful a bit. And oh, mention the soil. Okay, gonna expect a lot of that. That's it. The soil part here a bit sketchy. Just need to be careful. Make sure you plan your side stand and here we are uh i said the best landscape for somewhere on top there but we just chill out over here hopefully there's like no vehicles that needs to uh do a turn okay seems to be okay i should have put it in first gear but it's okay Yeah. Anyway, if the, once all the vehicles all move out, we can head on over, which is where. Uh, the, 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 it is the best landscape spot. Just now we, we were to continue on, we are uh, all the way up to the mossy forest. <coughs> so here's the view. Up here in Cameron Highlands. So far, hopefully you guys are enjoying the ride up here. A bit tiring doing all this uh, the rocky part. But uh, finally we are here. I'm showing you the views a bit. All this uh, farmlands and stuff. Let's walk down a bit and see. Be careful. Because it's doesn't fall down. I'll go on to don't know where. Pretty high up here. Not too sure what's the altitude. Maybe I can put it on the information description and stuff. 
So here we are at Cameron Highlands. Continue on. Maybe we'll hang up at the at the best landscape spot there for a while. While everybody clears off. Seems to be like a tourist uh jeep. But here's also a good spot. But we will head over there just to take some pics because you can get a nice uh, uh, picture over here with the bikes. So once we are heading down, we'll continue on. That's where we are going to uh, Fraser Hill to uh, have a bit of uh, lunch and then chill out over there to wait until the uh, sun to go down and depending on time, see how long we'll stay there. Then we'll head on over to Genting Highlands.